In this video, we're going to take a look at finding values of trigonometric functions using the unit circle. Well, the unit circle is a really cool thing in terms of working with these angle measurements and the trigonometric ratios um, and functions because it turns out that the points on the unit circle can be used to find what those trig functions are. And here's how it goes. The sine of theta, remember we use theta often to talk about our angle measurements, is just equal to y, and that's the y coordinate on that point there. The cosine of theta is just equal to x, and the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Okay, so we can use those along with the points that are on there to find the trig ratios and the trig functions for um, lots of these common angles, which can be really handy. <clears throat> so, let's start with this first one. The sine of 60 degrees. Okay, so let's find 60 degrees right here. Here it is. And there's my point. One half and the square root of 3 over 2. The sine is just the y coordinate, so I'm just going to pick out that y coordinate, and that's going to be my sine. So the sine of 60 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And the really nice thing about this is it allows us to get an exact value for that sine. If we just put that into our calculator, we would get a decimal approximation, but this gives us an exact value. And remember, it's always good to be more accurate. And this uh, exact can't get any more accurate than that. Okay, cosine of 5 pi over 3. Well, let's find 5 pi over 3. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, there it is, 300 degrees. Okay, the cosine is the x coordinate. So we look, remember, x, y. Hey, there's our x, 1 half. So the cosine of 5 pi over 3 is equal to just 1 half. Then the tangent of 225. Okay, 225, there it is and the tangent is y over x so y over x well looks like we have the square root or the negative square root of 2 and that's going to be over the negative square root of 2 over 2 huh we're dividing the same thing by itself so remember when we do something like that even though those are kind of crazy looking it's just equal to 1 how about this one? The cosine of 150 degrees. Okay, here we are. 150 degrees. There's my point. Remember, cosine is the x-coordinate. So, oh, there it is. The cosine of 150 degrees is equal to the squ negative square root of 3 over 2. All right, let's do one more. How about the tangent of... How about, um, let's do 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3, I want that tangent. Well, what I need to do, again, first of all, find it. Hey, there's 2 pi over 3. And the tangent, remember, is y over x. So, okay, here we go. It's going to be equal to the y coordinate there is the square root of 3 over 2 and then it's divided by negative 1 half now this when we get two fractions stacked on top of each other sometimes it looks a little scary but remember what this really means is the square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half and we know how to divide fractions we just go ahead and keep change and flip so we keep the first one so the square root of 3 over 2 change the division to multiplication flip the second one then I can cancel out these twos here getting kinda small but hopefully you can still see that and I'm left with the square root of 3 on top times 1 so that'll just be the square root of 3 and on the bottom we have 1 times negative 1 so that would be negative 1 well, I can pull that up on top. So we just have the negative square root of 3 is the tangent of 2 pi over 3. 
Okay, so finding trigonometric va our values of trigonometric functions using the unit circle, right here, these things come in very handy for us. We can use these to just pull those values for those trig functions right out of those points which are on our unit circle for all these common angle measurements. Hopefully this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do fantastic.